Something special in the village? Is what you see. If what you seek is old, the elder may know of it. You can get your laptop fixed so you can make videos like that again without lagging. I need to get a new laptop at uh, some point for my classes. My current one has like about 40 minutes of battery life. It'll randomly crash sometimes. There was that uh, at Fragapalooza in 2019. I won the Smash tournament and I won a Chromebook as one of the as the first place prize. I still haven't really used. I use the Chromebook here and there, like when out of town, as a bit of a second screen. But apart from that, I haven't used it much. I've thought about, like, maybe I should just start bringing that Chromebook to university if all I need to do is take notes anyway. Then I can actually, uh, not feel bad about winning this freaking Chromebook and not putting it to use after, uh, after doing that in that Smash tournament, you know? Um, I once had to present an essay where you pretended to be anti-vax. You couldn't finish without bursting into laughter. Oh my. Sounds pretty wacky, though. Why can't we recruit freaking Ferdinand von Roselle into our party? That's what I... Feel bad about there. Cling to the thought that Lady Orlea's last grass, last great hope for us to lay, for us lay in this very village. I can't words today. I wish it to be true. To bomb my heart, make up history and publishing it as legitimate research. <laughs> what could possibly go wrong? Yeah, we split into groups and we were handed out like three different case studies. So each of our groups did a different case study. The case study that my group did, I forget what the professor's name was. But there was this professor that his main subject of history that he taught was on the Vietnam War. And he would tell the students about like his firsthand accounts of like being in the war and whatnot and tell all these stories. Turns out he never participated in the war. He had the option of go to war or like stick in the States and continue his education. And he stuck in the States and continued his education and then went on to be a professor teaching on the Vietnam War. And for like 30 years, he pretended that he had participated in the war and would like completely fabricate these stories. So students would like write their papers, like sometimes referencing some of his accounts when his accounts were fake. Um, so I think it was only in like the 2000s or something like that, maybe early 2010s when he was found out. Because if he started telling those lies in like the 70s or 80s, something like that, you know, the internet isn't really around at that kind of time. You're not really going to be able to do like self-research to find out if he's telling lies. But, you know, in the wake of like the internet, you could just be Googled in an instant and find out, you know, someone's backstory, especially if you're in a position like that. So someone eventually did that and found out that he had been lying about that for like three decades man i wish i could remember what his name was you could probably just like google the professor who lied about participating in the vietnam war though and find him it was it was wacky though he wasn't allowed to teach about the war anymore he was publicly humiliated by being like published in the uh in the newspaper he was still allowed to teach though because apparently like all of his writings were still like credible and such the only thing that was false was just like his first-hand accounts essentially. So he was allowed to teach other classes, and he suffered public humiliation. Um, and we were asked if we thought that, that was, like, a just punishment, and maybe it was, because, like, if he was faking his accounts, then it's probably because he wanted to be, like, a role model, have a good reputation, and people look up to him. So having that dragged through the mud must have been, like, devastating to him, you know? Um, the autism causes vaccine debate happened for a similar reason. <laughs> <sighs> My oh my, some, uh, some of the arguments you see on the interwebs sometimes by, like, Facebook moms are just, my goodness. Is the legend so old it's been forgotten? Or is someone keeping something from us? They leave us no choice but to upend the village in our search. You're looking for something old? I seem to recall seeing a rather old-looking mirror behind the elder's house. Yeah, that was nothing there. It was quite brilliant all those years ago, but I'm sure it's, it's rusted over by now. Well, why is it kept out there, huh? Roselle have a long, dark history of being oppressed, and I reckon they're none too happy about outsiders like us reminding him of it. Why is my nose so itchy today? Yeah, probably not, huh? I mean, Daddy are really upset. I'm scared. Hi. Anything special? Well, there is a pelt in Jerome's abode that his parents are quite fond of. <laughs> they went to a convention called Furay with it. I don't know what it means, but maybe you should go check it out. You know, freaking, the only reason why I know that that's a thing is because there was this, uh, there was this friend that I had in high school that we'll still talk from time to time nowadays. Um, she would ask me the weirdest stuff sometimes. She once out of nowhere sent me a text one day asking me if I wanted to go to Fur Air or whatever the heck it was called. 
the furry convention. Which, I'm not a furry and she isn't either. Which was especially whack. So I was like, no? And she was like, why not? And I was like, what do you mean, why not? Anyway, um, that's, that's why I know about that, that convention's existence. That's the only time that I've heard about it. And apparently that's what it was called. Apparently. <laughs> But a random thought, have you been thinking of adding new channel or team ideas? I mean, if you have good ideas to, like, suggest that don't, like, interrupt the flow of the stream too much, then you can suggest them. But, like, I haven't really had that many ideas. A former doctor completely fabricated a study about vaccines and autism, and well, you know, the impact it's had. <sighs> People will just cite it being like, look, there's one result that, like, supports my argument. Whereas you Google the other side, and there's, like, 3.6 million results or something like that. Um... What's the idea, Guzma? Uh, you want to go to a free convention blog? I I did block her several times, but for different reasons. Um, <laughs> anyway, that's a, that's a story for another day. Um, she she speaks up at the Discord server sometimes. There was a there was a time where she tried to like ruin my life. That was a kind of phase that happened. Um, but then eventually, it was like a year or two after high school where she finally reached out to me. She Mount, because she was blocked, she had to do like crazy workarounds to get in touch with me again. And she like apologized for trying to ruin my life back then and was like, hey, I'd be honored if we can just be friends. So that's that's what happened. And uh, and she even like will say some things in the Discord server from time to time. Apparently, she recently got married, interestingly enough. I've never met her husband. Hope he's a nice dude. But uh, it, <laughs> my time knowing her was a uh, which I guess counts until today. <laughs> A weird roller coaster of a ride. And like I said, she's asked me some really, really weird things sometimes. And I don't know if that's number one, but it's at least up there. Um, I have a good idea. It only takes about 10 seconds to interrupt the stream, but it's pretty funny. Better not be like a T-pose. Um, there are a number of objects within the village that could qualify as the key we are looking for. Anything special or unusual in the village? Not that I've ever heard of. We may very well find what we seek in the Elder's home. Don't be isn't a furry. <laughs> I, should freaking, I should freaking send that to her as like a reminder of that one. I wonder if she even remembers doing that. <laughs> Maybe next time I see her on the Discord server, I should ask her about that time she asked me if I wanted to go to a furry convention. You know, <laughs> sort of related, but unrelated. Me and her would always like take the, uh, take the bus and train together. And there was this one time where we were going to the train station after getting off the bus and there was like a pedway above the road to get over to it because it's like a lot wide four lane road. So you have to go up like the stairs, elevator or escalator and go across the pedway and then go back down to get onto the train. Well, I remember I was just, we were on the escalator and there was this guy in front of us and I was talking with her and she just had like this stunned look on her face and she was giving me the look like stop speaking and look at the guy in front of us. And I looked at the guy in front of us and this is the only time this has ever happened. But I looked at the guy in front of us and he has like a orange tail, <laughs> hang, fox tail, hanging out of his ass. And I had to do everything in my power to like not, not laugh. I, I wasn't able to, like, look up high enough to see if he had ears as well. I don't remember. Maybe I'll ask her if she remembers. But I just looked, like, right in front of me on this guy in front of me on the escalator. And he just had a tail hanging back there. And <laughs> just out in public. I've never seen that before in my life. That was the only time. And to this day, I cannot believe it. Anyway, <laughs> that's, a, that's a thing I saw once. Um, anyway. Nothing, nothing against furries on it. Like, by the way, like, honestly, like enjoy whatever you want to enjoy. But if you're going to be wearing something like that out in public, I'd have to be lying to say that's not weird. <laughs> anyway, that's not the weirdest thing I've ever seen. Um, share an intimate moment where you have to go full screen for 10 to 50 seconds to stare at the camera with the most mediocre face without saying anything for 10,000 points. I feel like anybody watching on YouTube after the fact would be so gosh darn confused. I want to, uh, any point redeems, I want to, uh, you know, be able to be acknowledged on, like, YouTube side of things where it's not super out of place. I don't know. Um, entire friend group asks for shit to each other as part of our culture. <laughs> Do what I dare you, Katie, don't actually. Well, then, 
We should seek out one who knows the legend of the Roselle. That will be our best chance of finding the key. Alright, I'm gonna... I don't think I'm gonna need any convictions here for anything, but just in case, I'm gonna, like, save and then I'll go do the thing we're both. Anyway, how do we get to talking about this? This has been the longest investigation I've ever done as part of this series, to the point that I might have to cut it up into two parts at this point, like Jeebus. Um, <laughs> we're just talking about, like, everything while investigating. Oh, is that a twinkle up there? Is that a, is that a collectible thing, Robop? I need the items. Oh my goodness. That was a great idea. You just said not to do it. <laughs> Even. Get down here, Sarah Noah. Oh my goodness. I saw a thing, Robop, up here. Oh, sweet, silver. I can use that to upgrade weapons. I'll save again. Why is my nose so itchy tonight? I don't understand. Oh man. What are you looking for, sir? Is it treasure? Um, why, yes, I am on a treasure hunt. And you? Are you playing hide-and-seek? I'm looking for something that could help everyone in the village. I'm sorry we're causing such a commotion. I, I hear there's something incredible hidden in this village. Do you know anything about it? Um, yeah, something, something that could help everybody. I'm sorry about causing the commotion, kiddo. I'm sorry about it. It's okay. I always get yelled at for playing tag too loud, so I know how it feels. Many thanks. Perhaps I can join your game once I've found what I seek. Um, oh, you're talking about going to the freak convention? You, you'd never catch me dead at a place like that. Um, that's a promise, but you know better, you, you better know that I'm the best there is at playing games. Like, I honestly feel like when she asked me it, it wasn't because she actually wanted to go there with me. What am I examining? Oh, the ladder. Um, she probably just wanted to, like, test to see if it's something that I want to go to, knowing her. That's probably what it was. But yeah, one of the weirdest things I've ever been asked. Uh, we just want to live our lives. Why must we be chased to the ends of the earth? You did this. This is all your fault. I feel your pain, but I only need to know if Lady Orlea left anything behind. It may help us achieve peace. Not so. We're confronting the results of the Roselle uprising from 30 years ago. You will never know how sorry I am that we could not protect you. I beg you, gather your things and go. Um... It may help us achieve peace. I don't know. Won't go because you'd be terrified of seeing the not safe for work stuff just posted everywhere. Oh, jeez. I've gone to Comic-Con several times. And I went to an anime thon once. I love just, like, browsing the booths and seeing, like, what handmade stuff and uh, posters and stuff they have and such. Now, thinking about that, the stuff that they have at something like that. Ugh. I don't know. Um, again, to each their own, but... It's not for me. Like, if that's the kind of thing that people want to enjoy and go hang out with like-minded other people, all the power to them. But it's not for me. Um, all I know is that we'll never go back to the life of the life we had before. I wish you luck in your search for trinkets. Pray, do not lose hope. The road ahead is arduous, but we must reign, remain strong. House Wolfor will do all it can for you. You've taken all my venom and still show me your kindness. Forgive me. Truly, I have misjudged you. I must think of what I can do to prepare. Wow, imagine if people on platforms like Twitter were like that. If they snap at you and you just, like, show them kindness in return, being like, Hey, I'm sorry you feel that way. I'm doing all I can. And they're like, wow, you're being so kind to me, but despite me snapping at you like that. Thanks so much for being cool about that and whatnot. Imagine if people on Twitter actually did that. Instead of like, oh, you slighted me? Time to get sent to the cancel realm, Jimbo. Anyway, uh, I guess we'll end the exploration now or something. Elder, for the sake of the Roselle, I've come to speak with you about the key. Lord Serenoa, I am not one to speak in metaphor and code. I bid you tell me precisely what it is you seek. Uh, what, what would the other options be? Offer the pink rock. The ah, my drugs! Be the key. Where did you find that? So it is the key. What do you know of it? Man, I think Sarah Noah has got to be my least favorite voice in this whole game. I shall tell you everything. Why couldn't we have Ferdinand von Rosella playing Sarah Noah instead? What is this strange pink rock? A simple taste shall tell you all you need to know. 
what the hell was that you normally oh what the heck usually hold on in a video game in a cutscene, when you fade to black and you fade back in that implies that time has passed or something has been explained like for example the hero has gone on some grand journey and now needs to catch up this npc to speed on everything that happened so it fades to black and then it comes back in and then the npc is like ah i see now thank you for explaining that all to me but this was just a random, like, a pulled out of the ass fade to black, and then they just resumed from where they left off. Unless it was just to, like, show the rock going down, I guess. Instead of just having Sarah Noah move forward, do, like, the arm forward sprite, and then have the rock just be placed, which would have been just fine. Like, what? <laughs> what is this, Pokemon? What is this, modern Pokemon? Anyway, that was the most random fade to black I've ever seen in my life. My word, it, it tastes of salt. No, it, it is salt. Hey, I called it. Truly, a rock of salt. Indeed, it is. And the story behind it is a long one. This crystal before you was brought here by Lady Aurea. My mother brought this? And you knew of this the whole time, Elder? Yes. But the seeds of conflict ought not to be left in the sun where they are apt to grow. That was our decision. Are there any other crystals like this? There are. Lady Orlea spoke of a repository rife with salt hidden somewhere in Norselia. And where might that somewhere be? Unfortunately, I do not know. And I fear the knowledge passed with Lady Orlea herself. Do you know anything about this, Lady Frederica? Anything at all? Did your mother ever mention these crystals to you before? It is imperative that you remember. I apologize, but this is my first time hearing of them as well. Calm yourself, Benedict. You're scaring the lass calm myself the very existence of this crystal changes the nature of our realm as we know it <laughs> calm myself i only have one tone of voice and that's it if you have ever wondered why hazat oppresses the roselle or confines them to the source this is your answer so they did it all to hide the existence of the repository and monopolize salt and not just that, anyone who finds that repository could reign over all Norzelia. Would it really have so great an influence? Salt is a divine boon, a gift from the goddess to her true believers. It is one of Hyzant's fundamental beliefs, one that, due to their monopoly on both salt and the source, has appeared true all these years. But no longer. With this crystal alone, we can prove their doctrine false. Revealing their absolute teachings to be mere fabrications would shake Hyzan to its very core. There may be hope for us yet. A report, my lord. Hyzan's army is on the horizon. Lord Serenoa, if you would, I should like to be the one to speak to them. Of course, Benedict. I leave the matter in your capable hands. Somewhere around here, I think I still have a small container of salt from some German salt mine. The next morning. Oh, that's a lot of dudes. Lord Saranoa. How unfortunate it is for us to meet under such circumstances. But for disobeying the Holy One's order, I must strike you down. Before that, Minister Exham, there is something we wish to show you. It is a mere fragment of something we have discovered in this village. It is a crystal made entirely of salt. What madness is this you speak? The 
Ice is salt, indeed. But how is this possible? It appears to have been passed down among the Roselle, and in a quantity large enough to rival the source. Unbelievable. Perhaps so, but we have proof. Salt can be found in places other than the sacred grounds beneath the goddess's feet. I am certain the implications do not escape you. What is it that you want? An audience with the Holy One. And a guarantee of safety for us and everyone in this village. It would be a waste to dispose of both the crystal and household fort here. Very well, then. I shall secure you an audience with the Holy One. And you have my word that the village will be safe from harm. Thank you, Minister. <laughs> we stop getting so bouncy when we put our weapons away. to this a crystal of salt or salt crystal shall we call it the holy state's teachings are false the goddess's blessings spread across all norselia the blessings of the true goddess the blessing that shall be the key to the chains that bind our people can you imagine if crystals like this were hidden beneath the surface of norselia i cannot imagine hyzant being blind to their existence Salt is the lifeblood of their nation. Agreed. Which leads me to believe that they have relentlessly oppressed the Roselle to hide it. You intend to negotiate with the Holy One, then? Correct. This time, we shan't fail. Not with this salt crystal in our hands. Hyzant will swear its support to us. If their teachings are truly false, could you not ask them to free the Roselle at the source? That is a risk we cannot afford to take. Our first priority is rebuilding Wolfort. Without it, we cannot even hope to protect our own Rosellan village. I do hope you understand. I see. I suppose you are right. And what will you do once granted those privileges, Benedict? What will I do? I tire of being made to decide like this time and time again. Don't you, Sarah Noah? I do. Our choices grow ever harder, each time piercing me deeper. It's time we decide what to do for ourselves. I wish to reclaim Glenbrook. With Hyzant beside us, we can defeat Asfrost. So when we meet, I will ask the Holy State to go to war with us. <laughs> 